Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where once again it's getting a little late and I think people can hear me but I am so excited. I'm sorry I just like was really loud in the microphone for a second but oh my gosh and this is what's so hard about <laughs> living in a hotel is that I desperately want to scream <laughs> about all of this. Oh, let's do some, let's do, we'll just submit this really quick. You won't, you guys won't see this, but I desperately am so excited to go get paid and I'm going to have to try to like maintain a very quiet volume while screaming internally and maybe just a little out loud. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I just got my son the shotgun that he wanted because I'm sure that would go, that would go over well, giving him then. A completely modified shotgun to a Krogan. He's my boy. He asks for a heavily modified shotgun, I give him a heavily modified shotgun. Holy cow, I forgot. Samara is also on Ilium. And Liara and Miranda's. Oh my goodness gracious, we might be over there for a while. Poor Tali. Oh, I should. I should show you guys, maybe, I'm sure some of you, most of you already know, but, so, we do get Tally back, expert in combat tech, sy combat tech system hacking, strong engineering background from Normandy. Um, she has a new name, the Quarian engineer earned her adult name after helping Shepard defeat Saren two years ago, Tally is currently on a classified assignment for the Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board, so yes, uh, so this is actually a really fun mission, I enjoy it. Um, but yes, usually it's like, oh my gosh, Tally, and you want to go get her first, but free game. So we have Thane, quick kill biotic specialist, uh, uh, sniper expert. Thane Krios is a drill trained from childhood as an elite assassin, proficient in both long range sniping and close infiltration. He has slowed his activities in recent years, but is rumored to have a target on Ilium. Just Karsamara, biotic strength near that of an Asari matriarch. She is an Asari matriarch, I'm pretty sure. Extensive weapon strength, like technically. Age wise, she's a Justicar, a rare member of Minasari Monastic, 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 I can't ever say that word, group trained in enhanced combat biotics alongside standard weapons. Samara was recently sighted on Ilium outside normal Asari space. Yeah, because you don't usually see them. The Samara, oh, I wrote an essay on Samara for a college course. Like, she's so cool. Also, Layer of the Shadow Broker, DLC. Well, okay, the, there is. So you get to see you get to see Liara and like kind of like see a little bit like of like her wanting to like head into like do war with the Shadow Broker, but unless you get the DLC, you don't get to see how that plays out. You only get to see Liara and you go, hey, nice to see you, bye, and that's it. <laughs> um, but with the DLC, you actually do get to go see the see the the culmination of that whole thing. But we're gonna maybe be on Ilium for a while. Is that Ilium? This is the only problem with this. <laughs> with the with the tags, is you can't you can't see what's behind. Okay, I'm not gonna mind these right now. Oh my gosh. Ilium is a cool place. It's a classic garden world that will serve as entrepot between the terminus systems and the Asari Republics. To abet this trade, the normally stringent custom laws of council space on product safety, prescribed materials, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. So, <laughs> why? Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world. It is colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives it the same legal latitude enjoyed by the human corporate research enclaves of Novaria. The fact that you can make an entire planet just owned by corporates and like apparently they get to make their own laws is wild to me. Like council space shouldn't let them do that. Like this is still in council space. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born on the world is only now reaching her middle age. The world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. <laughs> anyway, this is a lawless land, but prettier than Omega, at least on the surface. It's a high class Omega, is uh, how I would put it. Okay, who do we want to bring, actually? Um. I'll admit, I've been pretty partial to Zaid. Let's bring Kasumi, though. I can't 
can't, I mean, Garrus, I don't think Garrus has anything special to say on this. He, he might have some dialogue, I don't know. Let's give it a whirl. Sure, give me some crap out of ammo. Overload, yes. Shadow Strike. This is super dope, honestly. I'm gonna give her that. And... Get your health up there. Power recharge time. Cool. I have the particle beam. I'm not gonna use that right now. This mission... Miranda's mission. It's good to bring the missile launcher. This mission... I will try... The... What is it? Freaking... The avalanche, yes. Sweet. It should be good. Yeah. I am well pleased. This planet, of all planets, gives me the most Star Wars vibes. Prequel. Specifically prequel vibes. I can't believe the Asari are into slave trading. Welcome to Nos Astra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. I can't believe that they're like, I don't know, the Asari are always very high and mighty. And they, they don't call it slavery. It's like indentured servitude, um, is what they call it here. Um, but it's slavery, under a nicer name. And it's just like, everyone's like, the Batarians are so terrible because they're slavers, because a lot of them are slavers, and they, it's a cultural thing to be slavers for them. But you're the Asari are running this world where you can have a pretty, like, a pretty slavery, if you want to even call it that. I don't know. It just goes to show, right, how people will do anything for a buck. It doesn't matter how high and mighty they think they are and how lofty and... I don't know. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. How does she know? You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Okay. Um... What can you tell me about Nosostra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. Mm. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge and goods from the Terminus mm -hmm. systems. Yeah, so you can literally sign your life away without realizing it. <gasps> You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. Mm. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Slaves. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling I'm sure slavery. you do. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Oh, it, Most well, choose indentured uh, service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. It's not voluntary. A contract holder <laughs> is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. It's... I, I love seeing it's like you know, there's, there's a difference between voluntary where it's like you you know you of your own free will and volition you choose to do something and voluntary which is like you're put between a rock and a hard place and you have to pick one or the other you know what I mean like it's not a not a real choice it's not real free will like to back people into a corner like that we try to avoid calling it slavery okay do 
have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I wonder if there's chubby Asari. There really should be. Like, they can't all just be one body type. I'm on a mission. Mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Like, her stomach scares me a little bit, honestly. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara oh. is visiting this port. Samara's is fun. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, <laughs> as well. <laughs> I'm actually just... It's been a long time since I've played Mass Effect 2, and I'm just... Only to lose them to your competitors. Try slavery to instead. <laughs> oh, usually... This, this spot has a location where people will sometimes say stuff. You've been a slave to your employees for two There she is. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off-world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. It's the like the pros and cons of a hive mind, right? You get like the cons, right? Where it's like, um, speaking of con, right? Uh, the, the Borg <laughs> from Star Trek, you know? And it's like taking away this sense of like individual individuality and all that stuff. And like, but it can become like also the hive mind can become like a thing that like terrorizes sci-fi novels. It's like, Burr, you know, they're, they're just all out for blood or whatever, you know? But then also if you had a hive mind for good, like you get a lot of good stuff done. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Hmm. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure. But she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. 
You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful, and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. I mean, I hope she is. I, I hope the voice is just, you know, ah, oh, yes, I, like she's actually reached a zen and isn't like being mind controlled. I don't think she is. Um, I truly think she means everything she's saying and that the Rachni Queen has only the best intentions. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Ominous. <laughs> These two are like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, there's so many. Oh, jeez. Holy crap, Shepard. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Gianna. Shepard? The news said you were dead. Yeah. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. I did. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. You do. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Uh, I, I've always been honest with her. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. <clears throat> For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. She just slipped it under there. Examine the beer. Had to leave Target Sami, couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria can talk her to show you the good stuff. Again, I have to help we just we just got back together and I have to freaking I have to help you again. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. These are hilarious. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. Let's just make sure I do this right. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Mm. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I'd plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outbidding a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. This is important. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. You do that one first, <laughs> and then you get the discount, and then you turn her in. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Hmm. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. <laughs> Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. I love her so much. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. I love that part. You won't be able to afford him. 
Listen, I know we need to go get Thane, but we have to go through the gauntlet of people. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. <laughs> so ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. I mean, you could take that a totally different way, but... <laughs> it must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. Hmm. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. Yeah, they wouldn't. You know, they would maybe like just like, ugh, like, a, like a, like we can smell the poor on you, and then not pay attention to her. And she's like, haha, and rips the rug out from underneath them. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. And that is the first hint I think we get in the game of the dark energy phenomenon. There's another one, uh, Tally's whole mission is about this weird dark energy phenomenon going on. And then it never pays off because Mass Effect 3 happens and everybody just threw everything out the window. <laughs> I don't know. Drew Karpshin left, who had been the head writer of Mutt 1 and 2. And then 3 happened, and don't get me wrong. Three is my second favorite of all the like of the Mass Effect trilogy, right? Um, but they did try to do some setup, like how in Mass Effect One they set up Cerberus for you, right? Like a little bit, like you're encountering them in Mass Effect One, and then it becomes a big part of Mass Effect Two. In Mass Effect Two, they're setting up the Stark Energy thing, and then in Mass Effect Three, nothing, um, nothing comes of it. Like I'm, I'm like 99% sure they don't even throw anything in as like an aside. Like, there might, there might be something that somebody, like, Tally says something like, oh, hey, remember that mission we did about the dark energy thing? Turns out it was nothing, and it's, or something like that. And it's like, what? <laughs> and the dark energy thing could have been so cool, but alas. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. I think sometimes you can get it, you get a chance to, like, have her kiss you on the cheek or something. If you play your cards right, which I didn't. Oh, hang on, let's look at this. I need minimal oh, heating yes. Bad and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's the whole Kestrel. I do actually like this one. I remember. It's got a. They've got like a dub, like two different bonuses. Hmm. I should be able to afford the whole thing. Not the helmet, though. Okay. Let's go have a chat with. That's like. That leads to the backside. That guy, that Volus is hilarious. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Your Liara's assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. Her. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'm sure it is. Why is your dress like the same color as you? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. 
She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Of course. Anyway, this is a weird moment. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. It's always been a little over the top for me. I don't even get to hug Tally. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Also, I just, I really need to mod out her eyebrows. They bother me. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you, well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with service. It's amazing how she spent, like, I don't know, 20 odd years trying to build up an academic reputation and being told she was too young, blah, blah, blah. All it takes is two years for her to build up an information network and to be highly respected. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. That's not me. I'm, I'm not a hacking expert, but Kasumi is. If you is... could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. <laughs> What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. While we're here, I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nasana Dantis. Hey, we know her. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. She, I was going to say, she just knows. That was all just off the top of your head. I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. So that the world of intrigue is yeah. <laughs> different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. She's. A, I do think a lot of it does potentially come from like her academic um, training and like uh, her. Uh, I guess like uh, like the archaeology mindset can be very can be transferred very easily easily like like the careful analysis of data and like the gathering of data, you know, being very meticulous and stuff like that. Like it's not a terrible leap to make from archaeologist to information broker, but at the same time. It does kind of feel like it's a, it's a pretty big leap to make. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Look, it's not like we've got anything to do, Liara. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Uh, let's get the shadow. We can just hop right into that, like, right now. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. 
You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll mm -hmm. take care. When you hack one, mm -hmm. thank you, Shepard. This may help Bye. me pay a brief. I'll talk to you later, Liara. And we're gonna have to cut it off there because the video went a little bit long and I had to edit it down a bit. But I hope you all enjoy the intro to Ilium and seeing some old familiar faces. Um, but really quick, I wanted to give a shout out to my patrons, but especially to my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito, and an extra special shout out to my tree tier patron, Christopher. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate it. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done one of these outros, so I'm a little rusty, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you on the next one.